Hello and welcome. So before the start of the actual event, let's do some case studies. This is being done in order to make you understand what are the various capabilities of Python and how we are going to transform the way we work once we learn it. Now this first case study might be very simple, but it will give you an overview of how this environment works and how can we fit into it. So this is an example related to the design of water distribution system, a very simple one. Okay, so in this example we have, now this is a folder containing the required files which you will be needing for this experiment. Here we have two shape files, one for the house connection and another for the tank which will be supplying water into the house connection. And then there are two codes. Now we will just try to visualize what we are actually going to do. And for that we open any proper GIS software, for example ArcGIS or QGIS. If you don't have any GIS software in your computer, you don't need to worry because this is what we are going to show now that even without any GIS software, how we can do the things which those softwares do with the use of Python. So here we have opened QGIS. Now you can skip this step, but I am showing it just because I need you to visualize what we are actually going to do. So here, as you can see in the layers section that we have three layers which are currently unchecked. Okay, so I will check it one by one. I will check it one by one to show you what these things are. So this is the underlying map. This is a place in the capital of India called as New Delhi. So let's say that we are going to design a water distribution network here and we have certain number of house connections and there is a tank which is going to provide water in those house connections and we just need to calculate the basic coordinates of all those points they are x y and z that is the latitude longitude and its elevation so this is the simple project that we are going to do right now so let us just visualize where the tank is and how many connection points are there these are the house connection points. You can see uh, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 house connections and then we have one tank here which is going to supply water in all these 10 household points. right? Now the basic experiment that we are going to do as I have already discussed is getting the x, y and z coordinates of all these 10 household connection points. You may be thinking that this is a very easy exercise but let me tell you that without using any GIS software we are going to do it. Okay. So for now we close this GIS software and go into our python interface. You first go to the search menu and you can type anaconda prompt as i have recently searched it so it's in my search results okay so you need to search for this and then you click on this once you have opened it you need to type jupyter notebooks in the same way that i am typing here And then you will press the enter button. Once you have pressed enter, you will see something like this and a window in your browser will open. So Jupyter Notebooks has been loaded, right? Now you don't need to close the command prompt system. This should be open because if you close this, the codes will not run, right? Now we need to start a new Jupyter Notebook and for that we click on the new button here. So 
so now we are ready to write our code you just open the folder of lecture underscore one and then you select the code lecture underscore one code underscore two and we copy the contents now how is this code written and what are the various things in it that is the entire point of this workshop but for now if we are if we run a number of codes and if we are able to do some experiments then the interest in learning python will increase and that is why i am giving you some small case studies to start up your journey so we simply copy this and here we will paste it now some of you may ask that will this code run on my computer so the thing is you have to change this address to the location where you have saved the file which i have given similarly here you have to change the address of your system's location where you want the output to be saved in short what this code is basically saying in a single line i will summarize that i have two shape files in a folder known as lecture underscore one so you have to extract the latitude longitude and the altitude from those codes and report the values into a excel file now before running this code i just simply want to say that if we check the folder there is currently no file named as points underscore data in the folder i will show it to you once so here in this folder there is no excel file okay but once we run this code we will see that an excel file gets created now we run this code and to run it you simply need to click on this okay so the output says that the latitude longitude id and elevation data for points has been saved to this location right so it means that this code was right now if you have done some error in executing this code the error will also be reflected in the same way now in case you get any error you can send the error along with the code that you have executed on the instagram channel that i have already talked to you about and the link is again given in the description and to access all these files you can just check the link in the description to download it okay so let's check what we have actually done so as we can see a new file has been created the points underscore data right you can do this experiment from your own so your confidence in python will start building up in case you have never used such an interface now we open this file so you can see here there were 10 points as initially mentioned the latitude the longitudes and the elevation for all those points have been reported and uh, reportedly this point number 10 has the maximum elevation okay so we have completed this experiment based on the same data set we will conduct another experiment if you still have not joined the whatsapp group you can join it from the details given on your screen or you can use the links in the description if you are having any query you can contact to us on the instagram link given below to download the codes you can have the link in the description below thanks for watching stay tuned for more